All right, what's good, everyone? It's Red, and I'm going to come at you with a few updates regarding some games and my channel. First of all, Gearbox has announced a few days ago that the Borderlands 1 servers for PS3 are now back up and running. Japan will get theirs back soon. As some of you may know, Borderlands and a series of, and a host of other games, I mean a large host of other games, was shut down because GameSpy filed for bankruptcy. They're out of business now. So, Borderlands is one of the few games that actually came back up and running, along with the Mortal Kombat for PS3, Xbox 360, and I believe PC got their servers back up and running too, months ago. So, now, the game was unplayable for a while for PS3 users and whatnot. I'm not sure if Xbox is going to get the servers back up and running on their end, but I do know PlayStation... Players can now get back and play Borderlands with their friends. I'm talking about the original game, not the sequel. The, sec the sequel is still up and running. It's been up and running for about a couple years now. <clears throat> but no, now gamers can play the original because I was one of those people that recently picked up a copy of Borderlands and I can't really get to it right now. So, I was no longer able to play with friends on there and what all that other bullshit because I've seen people play it because the servers were shutting down. This was back in May of last year, I believe. Don't quote me on it. Anyway, another little update. Destiny, Zerv's in the tower right now. He's selling Sunbreakers, which are great for Warlocks. Especially those Sunsinger Warlocks, and you know who you are. I bought myself a set of them. He's also selling Don't Touch Me Gauntlets again for the second week in a fucking row. I'm glad he was selling Sunbreakers because I actually needed a set. Most of the time I do spend my time playing Destiny as a hunter. I was kind of hoping he was selling Mask of the Third Man this week because of all the perks you get with it. Right on when you're ADS with, a, with all primary weapons. Reduce use of super energy when you're using Arc Blade. And yeah, that's a big one. Combine that with bad juju and... Yeah, pretty much combine that with bad juju and a couple other things. I'll be using Arc Blade for days. Speaking of which... <laughs> Bungie has announced some changes to s certain classes of weapons. Yep, they're tweaking some weapons again. Some of it does piss me off because I do have certain ones and I'm going to talk about them. Hand cans are getting nerfed. They're just going to have increased recoil and reduced range. That nerfs even my thorn. My last word and hawk moon. And of course the devil you don't, the devil you know, all that shit. Pretty much all hand cans are getting nerfed. All auto rifles getting nerfed. Yep, they are getting a nerf. A damage nerf. Which kind of blows, but what can you do? I'm not the one who makes the game. Oh yeah, he's all, I almost forgot to mention Zer is also selling exotic engrams for gauntlets. I bought the engram and it became Don't Touch Me, which I already bought last week when Zer was selling it. He's selling it again this week. So I'm like, you know what, I'm just going to break it down and get an exact shard. Which means now I can max out both my bad juju and my Galhorn. Oh, fusion rifles are getting buffed. Along with pulse rifles. Yeah, they are getting buffed. Which means my bad juju is getting buffed. Which is great because I can actually get started on leveling that. I was also hoping Zer was selling the um, Pulse Rifle Telemetry this week. He's selling Rocket Launcher Telemetry again. But at least I can max out Bad Juju and Hunger of Crota now. Unfortunately, I do need some fucking Radiant Energy to max that out. I just need one more and I'm good. Unfortunately, the only way I can get um, Radiant Shards, which I do need about... 
14 for my relentless harness and 21 for my tireless striders so I can max them out. Yeah, I'm close to 32 right now. The problem is you can only get radiant shards during raids. Same with radiant energy, which really pisses me off. Because no one uses really uses ascendant shards anymore. I mean, add that to the rotation of all the glass. Get rid of the ascendant shards. No one uses them anymore. Add them in public events. Come on. Yeah, errors can exchange radiant energy for radiant shards. That will make it somewhat easier. But there's only one little problem with that. I need radiant energy for my hunger of Crota. And some people need it for the thing of your rut, some shit like that. Oversoul Edic, Word of Crota, all the raid weapons. You need raiding energy for that. Ascent energy, yeah, I would like to see that still around because a lot of gamers like myself still use it. Hell, actually, even better. Give us an option where we can trade in our ascendant shards for radiant shards instead of just trading. Radiant energy for radiant shards. Anyway, that's pretty much it for the gaming updates for now. Oh yeah, Battlefield Hardline Beta is out. So if you want to download that, you got two days to go download and play it. I was playing it for the past few days. It is fun as hell. I was enjoying it. I don't know if I'm going to get it when it comes out. I'll probably wait sometime after like I did with Battlefield 4. But a game that's a definite purchase for me will be Mortal Kombat X. I'm getting that when it comes out. I've already paid it off. I'm good. So if you see me online, instead of playing Destiny, I'm most likely going to be playing Mortal Kombat X for a while. They announced that Reptile's back, Ermac, you can play as Girl if you pre-order the game, all this good shit. Hell, I've also been addicted to playing um, Injustice Gods Among Us Ultimate Edition lately. Where is it? Here is, I can actually get there. Yep. It's the Ultimate Edition. And for the life of me, I don't know why the fuck it looks like it's backwards. I have to go and fix that one. I have to fix that later because right now I don't have the time to do it. I have an appointment I gotta go run to in a little bit. Also, oh, a little update about my channel. I do apologize. I haven't been making a lot of videos lately. That's because, as some of you know, my laptop's busted. Fortunately, all the games I had from Origin were saved in the cloud, along with Steam, which the only game I have from Steam is Metro 2033. I think I have a couple of those codes for that lying around, so I can give them to some of my subscribers if they have a Steam account. I don't know if the codes still work. But if they do, I will post it in the channel description below. And I don't know how I'm going to be giving it away. I might say whoever has the most likes can get a code from me. I'll message them the code and shit. That way they can go and download the game. I mean, it's only about a 2 gigabyte game. And right now I'm currently downloading Crisis 2 Maximum Edition from Origin. Which, by the way, the games I got from Origin were free. Fortunately, the games were saved into the cloud so I can go and pull them back. Anyway, speaking of which, I got a new laptop recently. My roommate barely uses her, so she said I can have it. All that good shit. Go. Hold on. Oh shit, I just realized I have to go. 
until next time, this is Red Hawk checking the fuck up when I'm out of here. I'll be posting the video up later on today when I get home. And I'll start, maybe when I get back, I'm going to start my Let's Play of Dragon Age Origins. Now, as far as the Bucky Let's Play goes, I know I have to finish it. I'll have to start the escape level all over again because my save state was in my old laptop, not in this one. So, I can't really... I'm going to do most of the level off camera until I get to the final boss. Then I'm going to record that. Alright? But I got to get the fuck up on out of here. I got to go to my appointment. I'll see y'all next time. Peace out.